away from cities with dyke mayors. They spray the pipes major. Don't play with your life, player. Or shake the dice, player. But if you got a quota, then stay away from Tyler's. These bitches are fight promoters. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Train your toddler. Please train your toddler. Weapons. Timeouts. Take her allowance. Cause on stuff she will destroy your life if you allow it. Fucking, I'm tired of rapping. Yo, low. Bring in the quiet. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Some boys moving out. Because okay. daddy told you you can't have a boyfriend in his house? So you're moving out? Yes. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Dirty Folks Daycare. I am your proprietor, Dirty Folks. This is going to be a real quick live, y'all. I'm just trying to get in where I fit in before everybody else get on this morning. Because I was supposed to go on at 8, but I was asleep. Had a long guess. I ain't going to sleep at 5 o'clock this morning. Stupid power nap. Anyway, um, check this out, guys. Today's show is partially sponsored by Ash McAdamy. Because this nigga has the craziest videos on his page. And I, and I was looking at him, and I was just going on in my head. And I was like, secretary material, not secretary material. What? Um, uh, and what space and place they could be secretary material, and who's just a lost cause. Um, for those that don't know, we got a hierarchy. You gotta take the marry your secretary course, study tolerology. But and like and sub as y'all come in, y'all. Like and sub as y'all come in. Do your boy do what? Do your boy a favor. Like and sub. I'm trying to get to a thousand, man. Thousand, thousand views. I got some stuff I want to drop. I can't even drop till I got a thousand views. Because they won't let me. Say so I got to be part of the partnership program. Anyway. So. I have a hierarchy. The hierarchy is very simple. It's. Secretaries. Interns. Toddlers. And temps. Right. Secretaries interns toddlers and temps interns and toddlers in in certain ways could be merged together because you're training your toddler to become a secretary but toddlers by itself they could be a toddler and not be interned to be a secretary so that's how that works that's but they're interchangeable it just depends on if you put it on your program or not uh and temps temps is really bosses but you know you let them be around girls that's better you know what I'm saying? Just because. Really, just because. They don't serve no real purpose. Um, except the bus. So, you know, when you have company, you can set girls out. Um, y'all know about nation hoes, though. Y'all, y'all don't know. Anyway. Um. I want to piggyback real quick before we start. I want to say a few things. I want to show you guys a video that relates to what I was talking about yesterday when we did the show about the, the most racist man in America, the Klansman that does all his thing in Arkansas. And I was talking about basically that's just being tribal. That's all it was. It's tribalism. Tribalism means you represent the logo, right? So... When I tell you guys that I don't give a shit about blacks, I care about mine. I'm tribal. I'm not colorist. I don't care about 46 million of anything. 46 million, nothing. There's, there's not 46 million of any one product you can show me. I'd be like, yo, that's what's hot in the streets. You 
can't tribe with a group that big and everybody has their own interests because tribalism is culture is regional right chicago dudes do things that atlanta dudes don't do that dc don't do new york la mississippi miami everybody got their own culture so it's 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 just a weird thing to go by colorism in the first place right so i'm gonna show a video real quick about that said by an african girl Look, I don't know where this toddler from because she filtered up, but then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what I was, what, what today's show was kind of about. That's been on my mind, like, you know, see yesterday or whatever. Um, do I have to vote in order to get this thing off my screen? So I can't even see y'all comments here because I got this poll up here. And I'm going to tell y'all what the poll is about in a minute. There we go. So. Let's show this video. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what I've been doing for the last day or two. The day worked out for me, to be honest with you. Because. And then I was like, yo, we really don't have to. So. Let's go into this. And then I'll be right back. How do I say this respectfully? I'm not your people. You're not my people. I don't roll like that. Just because we have the same skin color doesn't mean that you're my people or vice versa. And this is something that I've seen as an immigrant who has been living in the United States of America for more than a decade now. This past couple of years, People like you see me and automatically assume that I'm a slave descendant, my ancestors are slaves, and then they expect us to think the same way, act the same way, or believe in the same things. And if we don't, we're crazy or we're called all the racial stuff in the book, which is for another day. But first and foremost, my ancestors were not slaves. Secondly, okay, check this out, guys. She's absolutely right. I want to show you how ugly this chick is, though. This mean mugging, fucking single mother of five that decided to find religion after she had all her goddamn kids, and now she want to wear kufis and fucking, um, the fuck do they call them? Anyway, I'm going to call them a hoodie, but it's called something, but I can't remember the name of it. Now, all of a sudden, she's mad because people from Africa like, yo, y'all ain't even from here, B. That's what made you mad? That's what make you mad. If a New York nigga, if I go to New York and a New York nigga, be, and this happens to me all the time, all the time. Um, I've never been to New York, but you know where I have been? Atlanta. I'll never go back. But when I was in Atlanta, there's a dude in Atlanta. I do not know this man. I've never met this man. I'm going to go back and show you how ugly she is in a minute. I've never met this man. There's a man in Atlanta that looks exactly like me. In my 20s. If he's still alive, we probably look the same now. When I was in Atlanta in my 20s, everywhere I went, they was asking me if I was this one dude. They was like, did you go to such and such high school? I'm like, bro, I just got here from Chicago. They was like, oh, man, I thought I went to high school with you, bro. Like, you cool? Like, he's a cool. Like, I don't know who this man is. But I promise you, bro, hand to God, I was being cool because I was hoping wherever he was at, he was being cool. Because if he fucked up, I'm going to get killed. They're going to think they got the right dude. Like, oh, they go right there. Like, this dude had to be my doppelganger. And we all have one. We all have a doppelganger somewhere. We're not related to. And somebody came out the puss looking just like us. And I never met my doppelganger. But he definitely lives in Atlanta. Because everybody was like, there I go to school there. And then I ended up going to uh, some other city. And, and the same thing happened. But it only happened once. So I'm like, yo, that's coincidence. People look alike. But in Atlanta, everywhere I went. And dude had to be super popular too. Because everywhere I went, they was like, yo, is you such and such? Did you go to such and such high school? I'm like, nah. Shout out to him. Man, I did my part, bro. I hope you're still doing your part, bro, whoever you are. Anyway, 
So back to this ugly ass credit. So she's mean mugging. I want to read what she said. She said basically she's saying she's better than us. But y'all keep calling yourselves African. Okay, now one time does she say, here's the thing. Because American black women just want to be second worst. They want you to be the worst. They're going to destroy your life so you can't excel. And then blame you for not excelling. But American black women just want to be second worst. So for her to come through and saying that basically she's saying that she better than us. That is never what she said. As a matter of fact, I want to put her first sentence. I'm just going to play her first sentence again. How do I say this respectfully? Pause. How can I say this respectfully? At no point in time does she think she's better. The only thing she thinks is she's different, not better just different the fact that these goofy bitches want to bring you down and think anybody who's different automatically means better right if you can read you acting white if you articulate you talking white if you are a conservative person have conservative values like you want a family you want to save money you want to work every day and per 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 perfect your craft after work whatever your craft is whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you want to be a bowler you're you're cool you vote Republican, you definitely a fool, right? You voting against slavery, definitely a fool, right? These whores are horrible. They get generational curse, right? They get generational curse, but you love you love your curse, and then you wonder why things not working out, and then you blame white people. These bitches been your curse. They've been setting you up way past these past seventy years. Been setting you up anyway. The reason that the, the reason I'm telling y'all this is because I want to tell you that that I did reach out to uh, your girl Crimson Cure, right? But right after I did, she she never replied back. I just did it yesterday. She she didn't reply back. But right after I sent the inbox, and I said in the inbox, and she probably won't because of what I said in the inbox. I was like, yo, bro, like you're doing the secretary training. I was like, man, getting a black girl to do it is my preference, but it's not necessary. It's not essential. That's why I said it. it's not essential. Because this is what I know. For those who don't, for those who know, they know. The reason I'm Dirty Folks is because Dirty Folks is the brand ambassador for No So Organic. Y'all see the commercials. Y'all will see it within this little broadcast. I ain't going to be on that long. You will see it, though. The reason I'm dirty, folks, because I kept trying to get American black women to be the brand ambassador, and these bitches don't show up for nothing. They don't do shit right. I mean nothing, bro. They don't do shit right. And it got to a point I was like, you know what? Only men sell products anyway. There's not that many women, period, that sell products. And show the fuck ain't no black women who you feel brand loyalty to or any type of loyalty to that can sell a product. I mean, you got Oprah, and you got the little fat lady that sell pants all, but ain't no black chicks that you associate with a product, right? So, I was like, yo, you can associate me with a product, because these, these hoes, they just do whatever. They just say they models, but they really on Instagram trying to get flued out. Um, And then I thought about this. I said, man, if black men are the number two, black, white men, number one, white men, number one, as far as brand loyalty, as far as you seeing them and you believing in a brand, but black men are number two. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm in Chicago, so I ain't never seen nobody wear LeBron's, but apparently people in other places seen motherfuckers wear LeBron's shoes. LeBron sells Sprite. LeBron sells shoes. LeBron sells single motherhood. Cause he's a social justice warrior, even though he married and all his kids by the same one. LeBron can make that sale. Jordan's still selling shoes in the game, hooped in 30 years. Um, there's a lot of black men that I can associate to a product. There's a lot of white men I can associate to a product. If I go into my thing, if I go into um, infomercials, you got Billy, Billy Blank. You know what I'm saying? 
He doing the fitness shit. And then you got the other Billy, the one that do the OxyClean. Like, both of them very recognizable, right? When you see, when I see in Chicago, the little Chicago land area, there used to be some dude called the Empire Carpet Man. You know what I'm saying? You see the Empire Man, you, you think carpet. You associate immediately with certain things when you see a man. All you associate with women is sex appeal because they not loyal to a brand like they not loyal to a man, right? Especially black women. You got white women. You got Ellen, Rachel Ray. You got a couple white women. But black women, too. You got Oprah, and you got the pound Soul lady. You ain't even got, I, 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 what was her name? I, I, Alana Van Zant or whatever. She not even a good brand ambassador. Because she trying to fix people's life. Her life fucked up, and she ain't fixed nobody's life whose life she tried to fix. They brand her as a life coach, and this bitch life fucked up, and everybody who she talked to, when they walk away, their life still fucked up. She not good at her job. Fucker said I sent a strong on me, man. I hope this don't don't close the set on the regular screen, but I'm gonna close it on my screen. I don't know if I close it on the regular screen. Let me see. No, it's still on the regular screen. That's good. Okay, so because I couldn't see shit. The Sam Wow guy. Yeah. All state insurance. You think uh Chris Paul, then you think um not State Farm. State Farm, you think Chris Paul. Then you think um, Duty Who with. Like, Chris Paul put all his teammates on. Whatever team he's playing on, they get a State Farm commercial. That, this is what you think about. So, when you think about men and and, um, and con- consumer loyalty, branding, trade, you know, being the brand ambassador, the tradesman, the, the person that you trust when a person says something. Do you trust this person? That's men. Black men and white men, right? You don't see too many Asians or Arabs being a trustworthy brand ambassador. When it comes to women, it's white women, right? When it comes to women, it's white women. When it comes, somebody says Shaq for the general, for general insurance. I heard Shaq's story for that. Shaq's story sounds like my story, sounds like everybody else's story. The way that you sell things is to believe in the product, right? I believe in our soap. I just use, I just use, I I ran out of a deodorant. I'm so confident in our products. My label messed up. Let me fix the label. That's bad brand. Ambassador shit. If I show y'all a fucked up label. But I'm so comfortable with our product. When I need to put on some deodorant, I put on our kids' deodorant. I stay I so fresh kids deodorant is powerful enough for adults, but safe enough for kids. Right? I'm like, the only thing is. The adult deodorant smells like uh like jasmine and the the kids deodorant smells like um lemongrass. So now I smell like a lemon. But that's okay though. I smell fresh. I might smell like a lemon. But you know, you want your kids to smell like lemon. You don't want an adult to smell like lemons. Anyway. So I would really be better off. Having a brand ambassador for the secretary course be a white woman, to be perfectly honest with you. I could duck black women all together. Black men are the second most desired men ever. I can do this course. Even white men look at black men as, as beacons of masculinity. Just raw, toxic masculinity. Masculinity ain't toxic, but you know what I mean. But when they look for femininity, they don't look for black women. They look, that's something I could get an Asian woman for. You can't get an Asian man to sell masculinity, but you can get an Asian woman to sell submission. I don't know no Asian women, so then I had to find a white woman, right? I was just being courteous and trying to keep it black, but I was like, I really don't have to, right? Really don't have to. All right, so I want to show y'all some, and the reason I don't have to is because you get this. You get this ugly mean mug and shit every time you tell a bitch, look goofy bitch, 
You got to follow these instructions. I have a culture. I have a cultural code, and it ain't part of yours. And these bitches get mad because black bitches are globalists, which means that they really want everybody to protect them, but they don't want to be loyal to nobody, and they don't want to have to do nothing. These bitches don't want to do nothing. Make sure y'all like and sub as y'all come in, man. Like and sub as y'all come in. I'm about to show y'all a few videos. I ain't going to talk that much. I'm, I'm going to run through some videos, and all I'm going to say is whether she's wife material or not. Right? Wife material or not. That's all That's all this shit about. Wife material or not. Um, right now, I got some, I got some wife material videos, but like I say, I'm on a homie Ash page because this nigga keeps the most toxic shit. I don't know where he finds this shit. He really needs, uh, I don't know. He needs Jesus, bro. He need a hug from, he need a sponsor. He needs something because this, like, if you take you can't take Tyler seriously because if they talking, they lying. So you can doubt what they say, but believe what they do. I want to show you a, a video. And what's so crazy is this is not even a black girl. But this is this is your alternative. This is she's still minority because she's still a colored, right? Because she fucking Mexican. So she's still a colored girl. And these are the things in which a lot of you guys go through. This is the shit test before they steal your kids and take your bread, right? They still might take your bread, but they'll take it on the run. They'll they'll rob you. They not going to go to the court and get 50-50. These are the shit tests that these toddlers do that when you train your toddler, you break this bitch. This is not, by, by the way, this is a no. She's not secretary pool material at all. Fucking at all. But... The comfort of which a girl cannot only go through your personal possessions, which he allowed. Y'all allow that shit. Y'all be like girls gonna be girls, man. You better break this bitch arms. The 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 fact that bitches go through your personal possessions. And then beat you like you're a child. And you're afraid to hit her back because you don't want to go to jail. She know there's no penalty. There's no consequence to what she does to you. You know that you have to suffer consequences as a man. The reason I showed y'all that. Because I want you to understand that when you train your toddler. A huge part of training your toddler is to be able to penalize your toddler. You don't get those type of behaviors if you can penalize your toddler. A lot of y'all are in position to do so right now. But do not do it because you don't know how to train your toddler into a secretary. So because you don't know how to do so. You give away. You empower. Because that's what girls need. right? Girls will have no intrinsic power. You have to empower a woman. So you give her your power and then she abuses you. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. Okay, we're going to get to that one. These are the college educated girls that y'all talking about. When y'all like, she most educated, I can put my businesses on, in, in her name and stupid shit. These are the type of shit that goofy ass toddlers say. I wish we could choose our baby fathers. Shorty, who else? To, that's that's self explanatory. Who else could choose your baby I'm just showing you the insight, the mind state of these girls that you think are adults, but they're only adult sized toddlers. They're, they're not adults. Like the fact that you talk to these girls like they're on your level is bananas to me. It, it's insane to me that you guys try to match emotion with them. Like y'all trying to love them because their, their language is love. They tell you shit like you, uh, you gotta 
match love language. No, you don't. Nigga, you got all the love. She don't understand. Girls don't understand shit. Another Tyler Logic. Let me use my girl voice. A guy don't like trying to cuddle with me. Irritates me. The fuck? Walk me through your thought process of how he got to be in the same bed with you. Bro, that's hilarious to me. <laughs> that's hilarious to me. So what what this is saying is a girl is mad when niggas she don't like try to cuddle with her. But the only way you can cuddle is either if you're on the bed or the couch with her. And he's like, okay, so walk me through your thought process on how he got to be in the same bed with you to cuddle with you. Like you fucking niggas you don't like, right? Fucking niggas like. Because girls are dumb. I don't know if she's secretary material or not based on that post, but I do know that you have to tell a girl. But then what I keep telling y'all, every time y'all talk about that, um, what does she bring to the table? Shit, and I said, girls don't know shit. They just do shit. You got to tell her what to bring to the table. You have to train your toddler. Your toddler does not come trained. Y'all getting passports to try to find a bitch that another man already trained. I'm just telling y'all how to train y'all toddlers, man. Take a quick in in a mission while I find this next clip and then gonna be right back. Dirty folks. Dirty folks. Dirty folks. No shit. No shit. Toddler tales are crazy stories that could only happen to me. Each tale is endorsed by Toddlerology and the Marry Your Secretary courses. In a world where toddlers are only loyal to her employer, learn the skills needed to train your toddler to work at your relationship like she works at her job. There's courses for every level of your relationship status, including polygamy. Need support? Join scheduled study groups with other toddlerology members. Click the link below. And now, back to today's story. Alright guys, I think Flip Cool sent me this. She way too old to be uh, a secretary. Way too old. But I want to show you something because this, this is your mothers. These are your mothers. Here's the thing. These women and these old men after they did all the fucking they could do you got brothers and sisters you will never meet. They closed the door on the sons and made the sons in sales, but made the girls buses, right? They empowered their daughters, which I keep telling y'all, don't do that shit. If you really love your daughter, you'll find a man you respect that has a son, and y'all will arrange a marriage between y'all kids while they like three, nigga. They'd be like Simba and, and Tumba, what was well, on the Lion King, the, whatever the girl lion name was. They'd just be, we brother and sister. Next thing you know, y'all married in that bitch, because... Bro, you would not allow these bitches to go in the world by themselves because girls are dumb. Every girl needs supervising. But I'm about to show you a video of a, a toddler who's a lot like your mother. A lot like your mother. Who will check you for the shit that you do, but she wants the same treatment. Let me show you. Because all these bitches are bipolar. I tell you, they're a different person on every website. On every goddamn social media website. They're a different person. You think they're not a different person in real life too? These bitches is dumb. You got some of y'all have been raised by the type of mothers that ask you to do something, then still beat your ass when you did it because they ain't like the attitude in which you did it in. These bitches is all over the place. Every chick needs a man to, to supervise her because they're stupid. They're just dumb people. Even if they're intelligent, like intelligence is just memory retention with girls. Intelligence isn't a 
Because they can't think. They just, they know shit. They're intelligent enough to retain information. And they do shit. They know shit. They feel shit. They do shit. They can't think. Your intelligence gives you the opportunity to think. Because you have to think about consequences. So you have to take it two or three steps in advance. They don't have to do that shit. They can make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. And nothing happens to them. Life happens to them, but then they blame everything for life. They blame men for life. They blame white supremacy for life. They blame everybody else when the, the decisions fuck up. I mean, nothing happens to them. They don't go to jail. Nobody kills them like they should. Like, nothing happens to them. So, I'm about to show you this. Let me make it bigger. Give me a second, guys. All the time I was on, had y'all on. Knock your motherfucking teeth out, and you ain't gonna be able to eat shit but soup. <laughs> Mom, ain't no wrong. Hold on. Let me take y'all back. Something like that. That is so nasty for a mother to hear her son eat. I ass. ain't say I'm eating booty. The fuck? If I ever find out you eating some ass, I'm going to knock your motherfucking teeth out and you ain't going to be able to eat shit but soup. Mom, ain't nothing wrong with munching on a little butt. Bucky, stop that nasty ass shit. I swear to God, when you come to my motherfucking house, eat a plastic spoon or fork at, and drink out a fucking plastic cup. You can't trust motherfuckers, not even your own kids. They out here eating ass. You must, oh my God, Bucky the Beast. Now, you all right, Bucky the Beast. <clears throat> and what you leaning back for? Look, see, he know. No, nah, he don't know shit, because if he eat ass, what the fuck you waiting on to eat mine then? <laughs> Bro, it don't matter how old they are. It don't it don't matter. God damn it. It don't matter how old they are. Look, bro. Why they gonna eat ass out of leather jeans? Pussy stank like a motherfucker, leather ass pants. Anyway, look, bro. They want for themselves what they don't want you to do, right? That is a in real time, bro. That is that. I want my husband to be my best friend, but I can't date my best friend because it'll mess up the friendship. This is how quick they mind internalizes and flips into some goofy shit. Because girls are dumb, right? They don't know shit. They just do shit. So whatever they know is what you're supposed to train her to do. But y'all ain't trainers. Y'all is runners. Y'all got to quit running from these goofy ass toddlers. Quit being afraid of girls, man. You just create the system that you can punish these bitches because these whores are dumb. They're just dumb people. You know what I'm saying? Just dumb people. It's not their fault. They girls. They also don't like kids. Man, Lexi, can't nobody fuck them awards, bro. I, th I like the bilingual part. Can't nobody, but most of the world is bilingual, except America, because Americans are arrogant like that. So, I mean, I, there's a lot of motherfuckers that's illiterate, that's bilingual. Mexicans are bilingual. And they can't read, write up. They can count because they getting that bread. That, that shit don't mean shit. Girl, she still act like a girl. I'm going to show y'all something. Uh, I'm going to show y'all one more example of, of toxic toddlers, and then we're going to get into trainable toddlers. Matter of fact, I want to keep this positive. I'm not even going to talk about the toxic. It's toxicity everywhere. We're going to go into trainable toddlers. Um... I want to do a whole video about that. I'm going to do a what's name about that. I might slip that in there too. I am going to slip this in here. So, remember I told you earlier, man, that these older cats, they do all the dumb shit in the world. So, and I'm not even going to vet which gender it is, right? 
because we had our first child in 2011. We had our second child in 2015. Why does my phone pause? My mouse hates me, yo, for real. Okay, so because I know for a fact there was a time the baby boomers. There was a time where the baby boomer men were fucking everything moving, moving around, and they was just dropping kids off everywhere, right? Especially them niggas that came up north from Mississippi, like, during the 1940s and 50s, like, the tum- how, how tumulus the South was during the Civil Rights era. It's a lot of those guys got a baby in Mississippi, then they moved to Arizona. Some got twins out there, then they moved to St. Louis. They got a kid out there, then they moved. I'm talking about the guy. Then the guy moves to Chicago. Now he started a family in Chicago, got three kids by two women out here. And these kids never met. Like, dad got seven kids in four states, and the kids never met. That was the boomer generation. Gen X generation was um, women just stealing kids, just theft. Just child theft. Generation X women and all the women under that, all the way probably to Gen Z. Gen X women act like boomer men. That's why they they say they act like men. They act like them cuckold ass boomer men who sacrificed their sons when they got old. When the man got older, sacrificed their sons because they feel guilty about all the dumb shit they did in their past. So I don't know which one this is, but I saw this video and I want to do like a one minute review on it for the, you know, for, as a short, but I'm going to share with y'all now, bro. Um, I'm going to share with y'all now because this is the ramifications of that, right? Of, of 65% of black women, this it's going to be worse for your kids. How they say 80% of black women have children by 20% of men. 64% of black women have kids by 4% of men, right? Think about that. Think about that. <laughs> women with three or more kids normally have them with three or more men. 64%. Men with three or more kids, it's only 4% of men. So 64% of women have kids by 4% of men. So a lot of these times, you're fucking your cousin. But you don't know because fuck a family reunion. And fuck being black. Fuck 46 million people. I can't keep up with that shit. But I've been there before because I went to high school in Evanston. My family from Evanston. The whites, the summers, the other from Evanston. And I don't know my family because my dad ran. So when I went up there for a family repass, it's a girl I wanted to fuck from high school. And I ran into her and she was with my cuz. And I'm like, what up, cuz? Like, man, hook me up. She's like, nigga, that's your cuz. I'm like, from from where? From such and such. Who the fuck is that? Go to family reunions. Like once every four years. Because you don't want to be around niggas all the time. Like once every four years. You be the cool cousin. Just pop up. Like every four years. Like the Olympics. Just so you know who not to fuck. But this is. This is how that works man. Like and sub as y'all come in man. Like and sub as y'all come in. You know what I'm saying. Pay your daycare fees. I'm going to show y'all this. Because when I saw this. I was like whoa. Cali. And then I'm going to tell you why this. Why this video touched my soul? I'll tell you why this video touched my soul. We got married in 2011. We had our first child in 2011. We had our second child in 2015. We've been married for 10 years. We've been together for 13 years. Wait for it. We just recently found out we're brothers and sisters. Damn. What did you say? We just recently found out we're brothers and sisters. Oh, my Lord. I'm sorry. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus. So, guys. Once upon a time, and I've told, I've told a portion of this story before. Once upon a time, I was in the projects. Hanging out. Lexan ain't lying on that, though. Lexan ain't lying. Uh, if you part of the, the original Evanston families that came out in 1908, most, most of them related, bro. Um... Incest is the best. No, I'm just playing. Okay, so 
this is why that's why I touched me. I told this story before on different live streams, and I'm gonna tell you the, the end of it. I told you once upon a time I was hanging out with my guy, and I hopped in my truck and I slammed my door. Do-dum. My man slammed his door. Do-dum. Then we heard a third. They don't turn around, and this bitch in my backseat like, oh my god, this truck is beautiful. Is this leather? Bitch is fucking my car. It's okay. I got the nut. It's okay. She fucked the car. Um. So. So let's see. Let's do this. I knew something was wrong. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with my mic? Okay, cool. So here's the end of the story. So after me and the girl parted ways, hold on, I need my sad music for this. So after me and the girl parted ways, um, a couple of months later, I'm I'm sitting on my parents' porch. Shorty had never been to my house. I was busting her down in hotels. I had a, a little townhouse in Hammond, Indiana. Um, she had her own little apartment on the east side, like on 85th and Stony or something like that. Exchange, something like that. She had never been in my parents' crib. I had never taken over there. A few months later, I'm sitting on the porch. A car pull up. Two girls hop out. Car had Kentucky plates. Two girls hop out. And, um. I was like, that looked like the girl I was fucking. How this bitch find me? Like, where this bitch come from? How the fuck she found out where my people stay? It was my goddamn little sister Danielle. I hadn't seen Danielle in 25 years, bro. 25, 30 years. Until until she was like, oh, that's my brother. Because she brought a friend. She drove up to Kentucky with a friend. Her friend was like, damn. Who was that? She's like, fuck him, boy. Fuck that dude. That's my little, that's my brother. That's oh, don't worry about him. Fuck him. He ain't shit. And I'm like, damn, sis, you a hater for real. Her girl heard I ain't shit. Pussy wet in the motherfucker. I'm like, yo, I can fuck a bitch in the bathroom real quick. They're like, nah. So, but I said, damn, then you. I thought you was this girl I was fucking. You look just alike, bro. I swear to God. Same body style, same complexion same head look that's her doppelganger i was fucking my little sister's doppelganger you know what i'm saying and when i saw i was like damn i was just fucking a girl like and these bitches i hate us you ain't never fuck a girl as fine as me i'm like bitch you reggie now i'm, I'm roasting my little sister like bitch you reggie she cute but i'm like bitch you, cute. you ain't that like fuck you ain't alicia keys bitch you was a you was a fucking a seven like the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? You go outside with you ain't. She came with. Her, she had a new baby. She wanted to show our dad. Our dad wasn't even there. And because my dad wasn't there, to this day, if you ask him, he'll tell you. I'm like, yo, when the last time you saw your, your two kids together? He'll tell you, he'll be like, 1981. And that's how long it's been since he's seen me and her in the same room. We've seen each other since then on accident at a club or riding a bus or. And like I'm like that time I sat on the porch and she popped up, but bro, I wouldn't recognize her ass. If if she if I wasn't at my people crib, if I just saw her at the club, I wouldn't have knew she was my little sister. And that's how that shit happens. That's how you get situations like the one we just saw, right? So when I saw that, I kind of felt that I was like, yo, that could have been me. And shout out to Blexit, you know I done. Missed a cousin or two by one every time I fuck a girl at Evanston, you know it's like I'd be like one sister off because you know all them bitches had kids by different niggas. Like they little sister be my cousin. I'd be like, damn, I was one sister away from from uh incest. Like that's why I quit. Plus, Evanston got horrible whores, bro. 
good pussy, bad bitches, just horrible people. Um, fuck up your life ass bitches because they want to be like Southside bitches so bad. You fuck up life like Southside bitches. Anyway, <sighs> I gotta say, damn, it's just a hate. Just some old sisters. So I got three sisters, bro, and two out of three I hate us. Two out of three I hate us, man. My oldest and my youngest is a hater. The middle sis. That's my favorite sis by default. She's like, yo, bro, I'm riding with you. I'm like, I'm riding with you too, nigga. I want to show y'all an example. Of Don't leave me now. Who would be great for the secretary pool? I know it doesn't seem like it. I know when y'all watch this video, you're going to be like, where is secretary pool material? But I'll tell you why. After we see the video, it's going to make perfect sense. Yo, what's up? I got kicked out of my boyfriend's house. For real? You too fine to get kicked out your boyfriend's house. Can I stay with you? Nah, I'm good though. I don't know why you. No, I don't know why you got, got kicked out. I got my clothes with me. Nah, I'm good, man. Don't leave me now. Come on. Hey, that's hilarious. Number one, she called us bluff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that again. It's so short. I'm gonna play it again. But number two, this is what makes our secretary pool material. That's hilarious. Because if our story is true, I'm not saying it is, but if our story is true, that means she's immediately ready to submit for a roof over her head. That doesn't mean she'll stay. That means she'll come. Ironic story. Y'all heard me tell this story. Before. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Oh my God, this is like my favorite video now. This is the video that changed my life. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all again. Then I'm going to tell you a story that I told y'all before. But I got more subs now. So y'all appreciate it. Check this out. I'm going to show this again though. Yo, what's up? I got kicked out of my boyfriend's house. For real? You too fine to get kicked out your boyfriend's house. Can I stay with you? Nah, I'm good though. I don't know why you, no, I don't know why you I got, got my clothes out. with me. Nah, I'm good, don't leave me now. Come on. Yo, what's up? That's hilarious. Okay, so where I'm at. Yeah, I go. So generally speaking, I only fuck with eights or better. But I've had a lot of practice pussy, right? True story. This is this is what I know. My uncle told me when I was 12 years old, it was great advice. My uncle told me when I was 12 years old, he said, if ugly girls like you, then pretty girls like you. But pretty girls ain't got to tell you. He t I'm 12 years old. Small, funny looking kid, bifocals. You know what I'm saying? My mother was cutting my hair with a bowl. I ain't had no blend. I was wearing Gap corduroys. I'm 12 years old. They ain't give a fuck about their kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I hadn't, I hadn't grown into my shit yet, right? It looked like a skid zone. But I hadn't grown into, oh, I hadn't made my name yet, right? I was still in the grandbaby and Shireen, little brother, and shorty. I hadn't, I'm still telling, nigga, I'm old. Like, I'm getting my name. When my, when my uncle told me that. But I never forgot he told me that at 12 years old. You know, if ugly girls like you, pretty girls like you. Pretty girls just ain't got to tell you. So I've been fucking all these little buses and hood rats on catch a girl, freak a girl, and fucking house parties and shit like that. 18 years old. I'm actually going back to the south side from Evanston. For those in the Chicago land area, you know what I'm talking about. So there's a train called the Evanston. What's the Everson train? You know, there's the Everson Express, but this ain't it. It was the Everson train, and it drops you off at the, at the city limits, which is Howard Street. And then you have to get off that train. You have to get on the red line train to go to the south side. So I'm at the, I'm on my, shit, I'm on my way to Everson. Now, think about it, because I'm on that side. I'm on the side of the, I'm on the east side of, of the ramp. So I had to be going to Everson. Anyway, so I'm, I'm at this ramp, and it's this dime piece, bro. I mean, a true dime, bro. Like, pure dime. No cap. It's a Chicago dime, but she's still a dime. Like in 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 LA, she'll be an eight. She was she's like a Chicago twelve, but in LA, she'll be like an eight eight and a half. But in Chicago, it's just the baddest shit I had ever seen in my life, right? 
I'm 18. She looked like she about 18, 19. And I wanted to holler at her, but I was so scared, bro. I was like, damn, she's so fine. Like, I'm, I intimidated myself, right? <sighs> exactly right, Blex. Purple to the red. So, I intimidated myself. I'm like, fuck. I'm trying to build up the courage to holler at this girl. I'm, man, I start walking around in circles like a vulture, bro. Like, I'm walking. I'm sad. I'm like, man, come on. I should probably got a man. Like, I'm talking myself into it and out of it. And then finally, I was like, you know what? The worst thing that can happen is she say no. Took that breath, went over there like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm so happy you talking to me. And this, and this, and this, and where you going? Because I ain't got nowhere to go. If you got a crib, I'll come to your house right now. I could, wait, 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 wait. And I'm going to have to start using these buttons too, bro. But anyway. Where you going? I'm not with you. I don't have nothing to do. You got your own apartment. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. You want a friend? I'll be your friend. Take my number. Don't leave. Bruh, no cap. She had on clothes. But it was damn near the same energy as that video. If it was a skit, it's the same energy, bro. That's exactly how that damn piece came at me once I said hi. And I, I often think about that. And I say to myself, Number one, uncle's right. Ugly girls fuck you, pretty girls fuck you. But number two, um, how my life would have been different had she shot me down. She gave me the confidence. I was already doing great numbers, but you know, it's a it's a big dip. 10 cents is 10 cents. But one dime is worth more than 10 pennies, if you know what I mean. Right, you can collect pennies on the ground all day, bro. But if you see a dime on the ground, you're like, damn, it's a dime on the ground. Like people, you know. So she gave me the confidence to be the slut monger that I was. That by the time I was 19 and I was sitting on that porch with Nidra, and she told me all my girls had to coexist. So go out here, basically find some sister wives. So I had the confidence to do it because I'm like, yo, I, I bag bag bitches, be. I, I mean, cause shit, nigga. I, Ooh. One day, not today, but I'm, I'm going to pull out my uh, Mr. O folder one day. I'm collecting photos from everywhere, bro. Photo, Because I don't take a lot of pictures. I'm going to pull out my Mr. O folder one day and just go through the roller decks of just me with bad bitches. I don't have that many in here in, 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 in the Mr. O folder. I'm going to show y'all. This is, not a, this is not a joke. This is not a joke. I'm dead ass serious, y'all. I have a folder. I'm going to show y'all. I have a folder called Mr. O. And then in the folder, I'm just collecting pictures of all the girls that I used to fuck with when I was when I was a kid, when I was going through my shit. So I only got two pictures in here because I'll be forgetting about it until I start doing lives. But I just got, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Young me. You know what I'm saying? And just just me being me, bro. Is... I only got two pictures in here. I got a bunch of pictures, but I only got two in here. I be forgetting to add pictures. Like, as I see them, I add them in here. And then I got the picture that makes the most sense and girls have cooties. But I'm going I'm to I'm work on it. I'm going to work on it, though. I'm going to get my Mr. O folder good because he, ever since he told me that I fuck girls with collarbones, and I think that's the funniest shit ever, that y'all girls don't have collarbones anymore. I think that's fucking hilarious. So I'm going to just fuck with him one day. I'm going to have, like, 40, 50 pictures or just me with the bitches I fuck just with collarbones. This is gonna be hilarious. To me, he's gonna be mad. But anyway, but I just stopped bad, bad bitches, bro. Because of that train. Because I hollered at a girl at the Howard train station and she gave me rhythm. So this girl would be um this young lady right here would be secretary material because if you can train her. She already trained to go. So all you got to do is train her where she going to. That's what make her secretary material. She train, If she trained to go, you just got to train her where to go to. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I'm not even going to address that goofy bitch. There's a... Uh, one of the things I, I tell y'all all the time is women want to be naked. They don't like clothes. I don't know why you guys pay OnlyFans 
why you guys go on Instagram like it's a big thing. Let me tell you all something, bro. Women will fuck up everything they touch. You do have to understand that, right? They will fuck up everything they touch. It's just what they are. It don't matter who they are. It's just what they are. They'll fuck up everything they touch. Like what's up? Pay your, pay your daycare fees. So, this is what that means. If women's prime... Um, If women's prime product is pussy, they'll all say, Oh, you want some pussy? What's the first thing they're gonna get? Pussy. Right? If women think that uh, nudity sells and they try to sell you naked pics and shit like that, it's a waste of time because women like to be naked, right? When women have a pimp, when women have a pimp, the pimp charges for the pussy and he takes the money and he doesn't give her any money but he maintains her lifestyle right man flip you gotta take the course bro that's in course too man i tell you it's all, every step it's only five different types of girls bro but we talk about that in course too and you can recognize immediately which type of the five girls they all think they're different but it's only five different personalities you gotta know and then you'll have a you have to catch the pickup lines and everything. I, I teach you guys everything that I learned when I was slutting. Uh, y'all just go out here and be great. Because I don't want to get killed by a nigga over a bitch. So I want y'all to fuck. But that's in course too. Um, so here's the thing. When a pimp has a bitch, he he makes the price for the pussy. And she might be out there by herself, but he ain't far away because he has to protect her and he has to protect his, his investment, right? When women sell her own body, the price went from two hundred dollars to five dollars. When Hugh Hefner and um and um damn what's his name? What's his name, yo? What's the name of the dude who ran Hustler? It's like Lenny. Like I can't think of his name. I know it's an L in it. Flint, something Flint. Some Flint. When when Hugh Hefner and Flint and uh shout out to Luke Campbell, bro. When Uncle Luke came through with two live crew, when those guys were selling the image of sexuality, you know what I'm saying? Playboy, Hustler, um, Black Tales, Luke videos, all that was selling the imagery of the black woman body. And people were paying money to see scantily clad or nude women. Women decided they didn't need a pimp. They didn't need a publisher. They didn't need an agent. They didn't need a manager. Larry Flynn. Thank you, Down South. When they decided they didn't need it, pussy went from $200 to $5. And naked pictures went from being a multi-million dollar industry to $5.99. Right? When I tell you guys that women don't like clothes, but they do like degrees, but they take degrees and dumb shit, this girl is not welcome in the secretary pool. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, because she has a college degree, but this is what she did on campus once she graduated. Florida A&M University student sparks outrage after posing naked for her grad pictures on historical part of the campus. I've been dressing provocative my whole life. So when she got her degree, her first thought was, let me get naked. Let me get naked. And I've been looking at this picture for a minute to see they photoshopped the the center back. Look at this shit, bro. This is just, the degrees don't not make them ghetto. And they get degrees in dumb shit. It looked like it was photoshopped though to be honest with you it don't look like she even there but it, it, she, I, I also believe that it could be her cause girls do the dumbest shit the dumbest shit bro she don't even have a diploma she's celebrating her grad degree without the degree just naked like I made it
This is what they do, gentlemen. This is what they are. It's not who they are. It's what they are. They want to be naked. So I would never pay to see a girl naked. I would just wait it out. If I wait long enough, she'll get naked by herself. Like, they they want to show you their body. They want to show you their goods. They, they all, all of them do, bro. The girls would be like, she, but that girl not like that. She like that. She not like that publicly. Right? But don't think she a lady in the streets and a freak in the seat. She's, she like that. She just not like that social media publicly. But she got photos. These bitches, the ones that don't do that, they send the same pussy pic to every nigga. The same pussy pic to every nigga. I remember one time I'm riding in the car, right? It's a minute ago. I had my little cousin with me. Um, what up, Dallas? I remember I, I was riding with my little cousin in the car one time. And it's a minute ago, nigga. I had a flip phone. I had a flip. So, you know, we talking maybe 10 years ago. Something like that. And me and cuz driving down Western Avenue and shit. And I get a text. Ain't no telling how long it took for this media text to come through because I had a flip. But anyway, so it took a minute though because I guess she sent it and then she called me and she's like, did you get the picture I sent you? And I'm like, nah. And I was like, and I ain't going to get it while I'm on the phone with you because I had a flip. So it's not like it was like Wi-Fi and shit. Like, you know, it's still down low. And um, I hung up on her. We ride. Me and my little cousin ride. About five minutes later, that's how long it took for that text to come through. About five minutes later, I see a I see a pussy pic. And I immediately get mad. Immediately. And even though I shouldn't show my little cousin other people pussy, but I wanted I wanted him to to know why I was mad. He was like, man, cuz the fuck man. I was like, man, this bitch keeps send me a fucking pussy pic. He was like, what? He's like, Are you mad about that? I'm like, nigga, look at this picture. So I showed him the picture. He's like, damn, she got a pretty ass pussy. I'm like, no, nigga. Look at the picture. He didn't get it. And that's the problem with y'all niggas. Y'all missed the signs. The problem with it, it was a perfect pussy pic. Who took that photo? There's no way in the world she could arms would be long enough. Like, she ain't got no selfie stick. They wasn't out at the time. Somebody else had to take the photo that she sent me to have a perfect pussy pic. That's what I was here about. I've been seeing a pussy for years. I know what a pussy look like. Who the fuck took this pic? So when I tell you that, and this is because we was, you know how you can be with a bitch? <laughs> he said the date. I don't know, bro. I was fucking that bitch early 2000. But we used to break up all the time. We used to break up all the time, bro. So, you know, so we'll break up and she'll move to Atlanta or move to Miami or some shit, some hot girl place. And then she'll send me shit to try to get back with me, right? Like, she would have been a great mistress. She was not a good girlfriend. Anyway, and she was trying to entice me to come back to Chicago. And I was like, who the fuck took that pig? Like, anyway. But they'll send the same pic to every nigga. Because whoever took the pic, you know, he got the pic. And then got them whoever she trying to thirst trap, they got that pic. And I got that pic. Unsolicited. They ain't asked for the pic. Girls ain't... Nigga. If, unless she on FaceTime, we got the technology for it now. Unless she on FaceTime and take that shit in front of you, bro. That picture is in circulation. So when I say these girls want to get naked and they want to show just because you don't see it on social media don't mean that motherfuckers don't see it in the inbox bro it should be the same goddamn pic they all do it anyway shit we do it we don't send dick pics but we we do similar shit good morning text or whatever to 14 people i don't do that shit because i don't like 14 people shout out to jesse parks jesse told me the other day he said man oak only like mild sauce and four people I'm still laughing at that. He said that shit three days ago. I'm still laughing at that. And I'm trying to figure out the four people I like. I do like Mouse Off. I like like one or two people. I'm trying to figure out the other two people I'm supposed to like. Um, I'm going to show you somebody else who would be a perfect temp secretary, right? Temp secretary. Not four times. Maybe. Oh. I mean, I'm 
tell you my mouse hate me, bro. I promise you. My mouse hate me. Nobody, nobody knows how much this mouse hates me. They don't ever pause, they don't ever shit. I have seen the fuck. It's cause I'm black. Well my computer black. It's cause my computer black. I ain't black. But my computer black. That's what it is. Alright, so check this out. If I had a silver computer, I wouldn't have these problems. I got a black computer. Motherfucker always three seconds off. Because black can't be on time for shit. My computer black. That's what's wrong. Anyway. I have seen a variation of this video. So many times. So whatever variation that you see. It may or may not be a trainable Tyler. I would say not. I would definitely say not. But as a temp agent. Like a temp secretary. Not no full time secretary. Like marry your secretary just temporary i just need a secretary for a day type shit temp service shit this video right here i've seen i've seen a different variation of this video a million times though <laughs> here's the thing guys One thing for sure, two things for certain. Girls really don't need money. They just need stuff. Girls will fuck 30 niggas one time to pay a bill because fucking one nigga 30 times is oppression. Girls are dumb. But if you train them, if you train them, then you'll be all right. So when I say temp service, this is a very natural, normal thing for a girl to fuck her way out of a jam. For those who saw the, the Bill Burr special, they were talking about Coco Chanel fucked her way out of, of, of fucking Nazis. That's what girls do. Told you the same pussy that get a taco, try to get in my house with it. That's what girls do. That's the one thing that they, they know they can move as commerce. Because girls don't care about their body. You just care about girls' body. But what you should be caring about is your list that you made on course one of the tolerology and applying that list to course two when I when you learn how to to hunt for your secretary, right? Because everything of course two, like people love course two because you get pussy off course two. Course one ain't so much about pussy. Course one is to make sure you don't lose everything that you gain that you already had when you fuck with this course two bitch. Because a lot of y'all niggas was in way better shape before you got up with a girl than you were after the girl. There's very few people who bl date black women who are in a better condition for dating black women than they were before. It's not how black culture works, right? Black is a culture. It's not a color. That's why we started off this video with the African girl saying, yo, shorty, I ain't adios. Like, because black is a culture. It's not a nationality. It's not an ethnic group. It's not a tribal association. Black is a culture. That's why white people can do the most ghetto shit and they'll say you're acting black. When other people act horribly, they say that those people are acting black because that's the culture that these fucking professional fight promoters created for you. Because they're horrible people. They're your generational curse. But based on skin tone alone, everybody ain't black, right? I wish I would have thought about this topic early this morning when I saw the videos that I saw. I don't even know if I sent it to somebody, yo. That would have been so cool if I did. There was a, um, I've been watching videos all morning. For those who know me, you know I'm really into biracial girls, right? What? That's not true. That's not true. But I, I have a biracial girl philosophy. Here's my biracial girl philosophy. Because like I tell you guys all the time, I will not ever again in my life fuck with a girl that had a black mother. She could be black. My mama can't be black. She can have a white mom, black dad. She can be raised in an orphanage. She can be raised by wolves. I don't give a fuck. But I, she, she cannot be taught by a black woman. An older black woman cannot. Fuck. She could be a white. If it's a white girl that got adopted by black women, I wouldn't fuck with her. I, I will not allow myself ever again to fuck with a girl who grew up with the generational curse. Right? So I was on this thread, these TikTok threads. I don't know how I got on it. But all of them were... They look white, just had curly hair. And they were all like, I'm black, but nobody believes me. And all of them had white moms. And and they were trying to put, and a lot of motherfuckers, bro, 
the motherfuckers would have got out of slavery, bro, because they, they look white, bro, except for their hair. But if they just wash their hair or press their hair, you would never know, bro. All of them look Irish. All of them. All of them. I ain't seen no black in them. One of them looked so white, she said her, her dad was mixed and her mom was white. And she looked pure white. So that's another thing about when people go off color, strictly off color, all this interracial dating shit, you two generations right back to make motherfuckers right back white if you're only going by color, if you have no cultural founding to it. Y'all just go off color. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because whoever dark skin want to be a slave. I'm telling you they want to be. And light-skinned girls want to be a slave. Light-skinned people try so hard to prove they black. Yo, they be doing the dumbest shit. But anyway... I digress. So, no girl wants to pay bills. No girl wants to pay bills, bro. And they'll all use pussy to get out of paying a bill. If you told them that you will have, there's a, there's a, this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. For those who look at the, at the, uh, the poll at the top of the, of the chat, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this shit. When you guys, this just means that she has her own bills and girls don't like money. They just like stuff and they'll buy what they want and then they'll beg for what they need and they'll always try to find a sucker, right? So I would say that that's temp agency shit right there. Like you bring them in and temp agency, you make them bust down a couple times, maybe hit the whole guys and then let them work their way up to a permanent secretary position if they like the shit. So when I was talking about earlier on the um in the in the uh the poll when the poll says would you sponsor a Tyler for a pick me pipeline? That's what we're talking about, bro. We're talking about you have to which brings me to, to, to the point of this, right? Your redhead's my favorite. Redhead with green eyes, my nigga. Oh my god. Look like Mary Jane Parker from, from the Spider-Man comic books. Oh my god, that's my shit, bro. Anyway, um there's one more I want to show y'all too. But to finish this sentence. But the thing about that, bros, is you got to train them to be what you want them to be. Y'all got to quit letting America train y'all. America ain't going to train y'all how to be gay. You know what I'm saying? That's it. They're going to give you a transgender story hour. And they're going to let all the LGBT fuck with your seven-year-old kids and turn them gay. You need to be training your toddlers. Don't let America train your toddlers. These goddamn liberals are horrible, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't let these liberals train your toddlers. Ain't nothing going to go right and they're going to destroy your life. The men, the women, the children, everybody going to destroy your life. Don't let these liberals teach your motherfucking toddler how to title, bro. You got to train your toddler to be a secretary and make your utopia. I'm about to talk about I'm about to show y'all one other video and then we're going to talk about uh, 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 pick me pipelines and then I'm going to be out. But let's do this quick intermission while I find this last clip and then then we're going to do the the, uh, cash app, um, the cash app shout outs and then we got. Toddler tales are crazy stories that can only happen to me. Each tale is endorsed by Toddlerology and the Marry Your Secretary courses. In a world where toddlers are only loyal to her employer, learn the skills needed to train your toddler to work at your relationship like she works at her job. There's courses for every level of your relationship status, including polygamy. Need support? Join scheduled study groups with other Toddlerology members. Click the link below. And now, back to today's story. I thought 
maybe I sent it to Gorilla Pete, but I didn't. I sent him something else. But this funny though. He already married though, so it's okay for him to be abused because I think this is funny. I'm gonna show you all this, but then we're gonna get into this pick three pipeline. And I'm glad Dallas on here because why not? All right, so check this out. I just think it's funny. Hey, babe. Yeah. Damn, you fine. You want to do a TikTok with me? No. Come on. You know, I changed. Go ahead. All right, fellas, follow my page for the three-step guy. But when you're coming back from vacation, there's no need to help unpack. That's her job. Those are her kids. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> Hey, the reason I thought that video was funny, besides, <laughs> besides the fact that I just appreciate a good asshole, uh, is because yeah, damn you fine. His whole premise was a, well. First of all, I'm also a fan of um milk uh of, of cowgirls, like girls that look like cows. Like, hold on, I know it's called something else. It's called uh, damn, what's it called? Uh, albinoism but she's not all the way albino you know what i'm saying so she got spotted i'm kind of a fan of that bro the cow face thing i like that i know it sounds weird but i like that but but also no matter what it's her kids bro in in this in this gyno cockers it gyno you know what the fuck i'm trying to say they her kids they not your kids without her permission so the fact that he <laughs> The fact that he, this is secretary shit. Like, he got abused, but he said some good secretary shit, though. Like, hey, babe. Yeah. Damn, you fine. You want to do a TikTok with me? No. Come on. You know, I changed. Go ahead. All right, fellas, follow my page for the three step guy. But when you're coming back from vacation, there's no need to help unpack. That's her job. Those are her kids. <laughs> hey, babe. a cow face man i like it cow skin anyway <sighs> okay let, let's let's talk about this pick me pipeline real quick man because i know i'm gonna lose a couple guys in a minute man because yeah, you know but check this out real quick pick me pipeline every girl don't want to be a terrorist but they don't have a safe space right black men don't have a safe space they can they can move you around however fuck they want to move you around they can call it gentrification they can call it my, the great migration they can call it um a trail of tears they can call it whatever the fuck they want to call it manifest destiny they can move you around how they want to move you around and they do that because you're afraid to go out on your own you've been indoctrinated with so much propaganda of anything that will happen to you in this nation. If you stay in this nation. And just try to stand up for yourself. As men. Not as blacks. Y'all keep getting killed. Because y'all keep wanting to be black. And black is communism. And anarchy bro. The shit that y'all have been taught. Is communism and anarchy. That black panther shit. Communism and anarchy. That fucking whole tub shit. Is communism and anarchy. Like. There is no man. Who will deal with communism and anarchy. There's no tribal man. Communism means i gotta pay for your shit socialism is basically communism and anarchy kali ma do us that will ain't no rules i'm anti-authority men deal with infrastructure systems and hierarchy there's been very few times in american history that is documented it happens but that is documented where men came to other men with a system structure and anarchy uh, uh in hierarchy hierarchy in the last 30 years what it would matter where it would matter in the last 30 years since 
maybe 40 years. Definitely 30, maybe 40, since Ronald Reagan. They force integration on you. Force integration on you. All the policies in which you live under, and I've shown you this in other videos, I'm not going to do it right now, because this is a video about pick me. But everything that quote unquote is black is run by all white women, Jews, and gays. I've shown y'all on y'all own time. Y'all can look up the Urban League, NAACP, Rainbow slash Operation Push. Look at their staff, bro. A number of white women. A number of white women. And all their policies is to help black single mothers remain black single mothers and empower a goofy bitch. Everything that says black or Negro is against you, my nigga. Anything that represents a color is against you, my nigga. I'm just taking it. I'm taking the crayons back. People are like, yeah, you got a gay. This ain't gay, nigga. This is crayons, nigga. I'm a to let the gays take how kids learn colors away from me, man. The rainbow is how we learned our colors, man. Get that man. Red and yellow was orange. That's how I learned my colors, man. You don't take that from me, man. I got to train toddlers, man. Anyway, but anything they got to do with colors is against you, including the LGBT. But not crayons, though. Well, real people crayons. But not, like, real Crayola crayons. Like, crayons is your front. Because cause girls love to paint and color. That's what they do, right? They go to paint and sip. They paint. They drink wine. They suck a dick. They go and have these uh, coloring shits. They, like, this is full-body coloring books, like, with numbers in it. And girls get crayons, and they do these full cup full size coloring book crayons and they get crayons and they color it within the lines and they drink wine and they suck dick that's what girls do they like colors so when you're training your toddler you got to keep it colorful right that's why i keep a bunch of different color hats man like because they like colors anyway when it comes to the pick me's there's a lot of girls who want to be pick me's but they're scattered in the wind because girls don't know how to organize. Girls can't do shit, right? They don't know shit. They just, they toddlers. They just run around bumping to shit and then bumping to other shit. And then they scrape their knee and they be like, daddy. And then just, you up. Girls don't know shit. They can't take care of themselves. What guys, I propose, my personal proposal for me and our trap, what guys need to do, first up is try a book. Build, build, and people will come. And then set up a pick me underground railroad. Put them through pick me courses, which is secretary courses, by the way. That's what the secretary class is about. Do pick me courses. You know what I'm saying? Vet your pick me's and give them a pick me underground railroad. So all the pick me's could be in a pick me place and do pick me shit without feeling ostracized and feeling uh, pressure. From all these goofy ass bitches, man. All these fucking Keishas and Karens that make them feel like there's something wrong with them for one to be chosen. I have never done anything comp competitively, bro. I have never done anything competitively. And I've wanted to get picked. I've never gone to the basketball court and was like, I hope they don't pick me. Nigga, I want to play. Pick me, motherfucker. Put me in the game, coach. You know what I'm saying? I've never gone out for an academic award. Or then a speaking engagement. Or even call Jap Show and be like, yo, I hope he don't pick up the phone for me. Nigga, pick me. Do you see how dumb toddlers are? That they make everything right and righteous bad. If you can read, write, account, there's something wrong with you. If you in anything other than goddamn it, a coonery type of thing. I'm, uh, not coonery. Uh, um, a minstrel type of thing like athletics or the arts. They shit on your dreams. Nigga, you want to make a phone app? Fuck you, nigga. That's some lame shit, nigga. Everything right and righteous in life. These toddlers hate. These blacks hate in general. Blacks hate in general. But black boys hate. As men mature, because men actually mature. When men mature, they say, damn. That's, that's what's up. Girls never mature. They just dumb. But. Men create their space. And dictate the way that they space goes and i'm gonna help y'all get there man matter of fact i'm gonna make a quick announcement i'm gonna make a quick announcement let me show y'all this real quick i just want to remind y'all something i'm gonna 
I'm not gonna play this whole thing. This one's Toddler crazy. tales are crazy stories that can only happen to me. I don't say I don't. Know. No, just so. No, just so. If you in any city except Chicago, because I got Chicago. If you in any city except Chicago, man, I will pay y'all to go to y'all local, uh, y'all local mom and pop like juice and berry shop that sell like hygiene products and black owned stores and stuff like that if y'all get them to, to grab this i will pay y'all a referral fee for anybody who who got them and can get our products into the stores in a local market i got y'all bro i man i, I gotta walk it like i talking man if i say feed the pack bro i gotta be the example so if anybody need a couple of dollars in the outside the chicago land area man if motherfuckers inbox me bro just inbox me and we'll work it out so i say all that to say that we can create our own safe space for us because you got to be safe first and then you just bring her in they looking for a place to go they looking for a place that nobody else will will pick on them for being a pick because they scared girls are scared they don't feel like they have a protector but they want to be chosen and the only motherfuckers that got that fake masculine energy is them fucking niggas that take their shit off and run in the trees and shit. And girls are like, fuck it, I'll read the Bible backwards. And, and girls love reading shit backwards. You know what I'm saying? They love reading shit backwards. I'll read the Bible backwards and, and be, you know, and worship 430 years of slavery because that's what's hiding the streets. Um, did I have anything else I want to show y'all? I, let y'all go. I did is that where i put it did i put it on the dirty folks page hold on i did have some i'm like damn i know something i'm missing all right this is gonna be the last clip make sure y'all like us up oh and while i'm pulling this up let me give a shout out to the people that paid they they, they care fees bro i want to give a shout out to 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 nick for the five dollar cash out for the daycare fees i want to give a shout out to mr o for the four dollar cash out for tacos my nigga you know i love the tacos five uh shout out to xl pro for the five dollar cash app for the daycare shout out to terrence for the ten dollar cash app shout out to mitch money making mitch uh five dollars and twelve cents i'm gonna this nigga be killing me with the cents five dollars and twelve cents for the daycare fees shout out to Rope for the ten dollar cash app for the daycare fees I appreciate you guys. I got something else I want to show y'all. Oh, that's what I was going to show y'all. I showed y'all what I was going to show y'all last. I showed y'all that first. All right. Well, that's what it is. Um, Guys. We all we got, bro. It's time for us to mobilize. Shout out to comedy said cow skin is much prettier than cow shape. You goddamn right, my G. Oh my god. To have the skin of a cow is one thing. To have the shape of a cow is another. Um, we all we got though, bros. Y'all niggas is awesome, man. Y'all really are awesome people, bro. Uh shout out to Zone for the two dollar daycare fee, man. Shout out to Zone. Y'all really are awesome, bro. Like. But y'all just so scattered. Y'all scattered like the pick me's are scattered. Help your boy get to a thousand, man. Help your boy get to a thousand, bro. So I can really make that change. And tell your favorite podcaster to bring me on that goddamn show. Because I ain't paying nobody to get on that show. But tell your favorite podcaster to invite me on the show. We can we can top it up. I'm not going to worry about Crimson Cure. If she does it, that'd be great. I'm not saying fuck or nothing like that. I like her content. I checked the show out like maybe for the second or third time. I think it's maybe the third time I've ever seen her show. And it was good. She's consistent. I see why you guys like her. Um, but she's still a girl. You know what I'm saying? All a girl can do is repeat what guys tell them, right? She just she just gets it. And I respect the, the fact that she gets it. And that's that's phenomenal. My point is if she gets it, then other people get it, but they scared to be outspoken about it. It's a lot of girls that say they pick me's who never show their face on their avatar. It's a lot of girls who say they pick me's who make eloquent Facebook posts, but they never do meet and greets. There's a lot of people who say they pick me's, but they don't put in the work. Right?
then there's people who uh, put in the work. I respect I respect Crimson uh, Crimson Cure for putting in the work. Oh, oh say don't do that type of content, bro. Um, and Westside Kulik, bro. I'm not sub to his channel. I sub to his channel. I see what's what's good with it, uh, Rondo. Because I actually don't have no problem with Red Side, uh, West Side Cool Look. I kind of like him. I do, uh, I'm, I'm on panels with him sometimes when I'm on, uh, uh, the Big Mike drop. And, and, and West Side is, is on his show a lot. And I, I fuck with West Side. I know who he is. I'm not sub to his channel, but I know who he is. Um, he cool. And we agree on, on the indigenous thing. So that helps too. So I ain't got to explain to him what tribalism is. So that fucking helps. Uh, shout shout out to Cam for the uh five dollar cash shot, man. Gratitude, bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, O'Shea don't do he just do celebrity junk. What I want to do is I want to start sponsoring channels. That's what I want to start doing. I want to take uh I want the Marriott Secretary course to be. Damn near mandatory for for uh, for Tony and Swarty men because you guys haven't never learned how to vet a woman. Y'all do not know how to vet women. It's so much more to women than just a fat ass and she know how to fry chicken, bro. It's so many other things about that that could fuck up a lot. Like if she could read, if she could read, she probably gonna fuck up your life, bro. Like you you gotta you gotta know how to train them. First, you have to know how to vet them. Then you have to know how to train them. It's like any job you get, bro. Like these bitches get jobs based on uh, background and resumes. That shit don't talk, bro. When you go and get a job, you have to have experience, right? See how that works. When girls get a job, it's all uh, a plot. It's all practical knowledge, right? It's all goofy shit. You went to what school? You got what degree? They don't care about the degree. They don't care about the degree. What they care about is 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 she a single mother is she black what side of 40 years old she's on they're just checking boxes with black women they don't give a fuck if she know the job that's why they keep hiring these goofy ass bitches at home depot that can't cut lumber <sighs> fuck i never going to start report i would never going to start report my nigga I know what star is. She blocked me on Facebook years ago. Then turned around, did a show as a courtesy for uh for the alchemist, and turned around and tried to check me on the show. And I had to go in on her and her husband and her kids. And I was like, man, this is some bullshit. Like, shorty, you got me fucked up. I don't know who you bullying in these streets, but you can't bully me. It's on the internet. Like, shorty, I don't give a fuck about your real life, bitch. Like. If I talk to a woman, it's a peace and love situation. Star Report is not a pick me. Star Report is a got lucky. Like I said, as far as black girls go, it'd be crimson cure and nobody. Because I ain't even that big of a fan of black girls when they talk anyway. With clothes on, they don't talk about shit. My whole life is dedicated to asking two or more black girls a question if two or more agree do the opposite. Hey, Mike, that's my personal pet peeve, bro. That's my personal pet peeve, Mike. This has been my pet peeve for probably since I noticed in 2000, 2000, 2001. So this is a 21-year-old pet peeve, women, black women working at Home Depot. Not women, because I've had Asian women help me, uh, Hispanic women help me, but black women that work at Home Depot... They don't do shit, bro. They don't do shit. Be six deep at the fucking cash register. Can't nobody help you. Can't nobody cut carpet. Can't nobody cut lumber. They don't know what shit at. The only thing they can find is a is a male representative to help you. But there's really not that many of them. Because when black girls work human resources, all they hire are other women and gays. Because they the real blacks. You know what I'm saying? 
any motherfucker that everybody that should be working at Home Depot is in front of Home Depot looking for work. Like, like this is that shit. Anyway. What else y'all got, man, before I get out of here? Oh, he said, not that star. Oh, the star, the star report. And who the fuck is that Raj report? This some motherfucker called the Raj report. This nigga's on. Him and Angry Man be on 20 hours a day. I'm like, what the fuck do they be talking about? Anyway, um. I've never heard, I've never heard that star report, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard a drop. I'll, I'll look into it, though. I'll look into it. Hold on, let me put y'all on mute for a minute. Let me blow my nose. All right, guys. So, let me see what y'all got. Big Mike drop. That's my dude. I do. I check him out, bro. I check out everybody y'all name, bro. Hey, so look, that's what that's what we on, man. By 2023, we want to start this. Uh, what well, tell shit? Well, tell them motherfuckers to holler at me, man. I ain't hollering at nobody. Tell them motherfuckers to holler at me, man. And I'm not saying on no ego shit. I'm saying when you holler at people, they be like, "How much? What's your budget?" Like, I ain't paying you to come on your internet shit. Tell them to holler at me, man. That way I ain't got to pay. And that ego is economics, my nigga. Um. Now, 2023, man. Because this year, I plan on going to New Mexico and, and at least scouting out the land for our land grant. Now, 2023, man. We're about to change this whole thing around. Man, so y'all looking at all this content. Y'all looking at my content. You looking at Jap. You looking at Palmer. You looking at um uh what's my man to do the cryptocurrency? Um can't think of his nigga name. Crypto something. But you looking at all this content creators and they're telling you how to be a better you. All I'm telling you is everybody else already in play. There's so much information out here, and there's so many different things that we can do and that we need to do. That you gotta try, but my boy ain't on here today. But um, shout out to um to Carrie Locks. Carrie was trying to teach me forex, and I turned around and told Carrie, I said, "Man, you you like a ninety percent record, bro. How much would it take for you to become a broker?" So he gave me a number. So man, instead of me learning how to do forex, I man, I take all the guys, we pull our money, we help him become a, a forex broker. Pay the nigga 10%. You know what I'm saying? Kill him. Oheem. Yup, Oheem. But I forgot the name of the show, though. But yeah, Oheem a beast, right? I got to Oheem because I wanted to find a person that knew how to make a crypto wallet. Because if we can make our own wallet, I already know how to make our own currency. So we can have our own tribal currency that has a, a static wealth i know y'all guys think of crypto I know, i'm not going that's a whole different podcast i ain't gonna go there but I, I i know your guys see crypto like it's some type of lottery ticket or some type of fast growing stock but i see it as currency like can you attach it to something attach it to a, a tangible thing like gold or whatever and make it your dollar like disney bucks i've done a whole video about disney bucks so i'm not gonna talk about that again but you know i'm looking into that because not even because of you guys not even because of the guys honestly it's because you guys gonna want toggles and if we're gonna do a pick me pipeline we have to make sure that your toddlers can only spend money with us they can't be allowed to spend money outside us so everything that they do they have to be able to spend the money with us you know what i'm saying and um that helps you keep your money circulating within you it helps your commerce it helps your everything because if a woman has an opportunity to fuck up your shit that's the reason that the dollar only lasts six hours in the black community because toddlers be like yo i want some shit and everybody else comes out in this motherfucker and open up shop in your hood everybody else polishes repackages and sells back your culture to you everybody else makes you spend their currency with their people on it everybody else s- does the security for your community everybody does everything else for you and then you yell well i'm black 
Stop being black. Be a man. Then you can secure your own property. That's part of being a man. To protect and provide, it's part of being a man, right? We got enough people to teach, to not only teach you how to provide, but to provide for the group. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I got jobs. I just offered y'all a job. Say if you don't live in Chicago, nigga, y'all could, y'all could move product and they ain't me all product. It's basically drop shipping. Okay, y'all drop ship opportunity that can grow into being a distribution opportunity. Motherfuckers already doing shit. Everybody ain't gotta do the same thing. Nigga, I hear he already called on the crypto. Yo, take everybody, take everybody bread, man. Flip the crypto, uh, not crypto, uh, forex. Take everybody bread. Flip the forex. Put everybody original bread to the side. Flip the change until we grow into to something, and then you do the cash out. That is that is how you set up basically your four hundred one k, right? Creating the app, the 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 um. And that's, I got to change this daycare fees thing. It's not $105 no more. It's been like that for a week because cause it's not plugged into like a super chat or nothing because I because I ain't got a thousand uh, subs. But I got to change that because the daycare fees have gone up. I think we had like three something now. I'm going to change. But when you get the Marry Your Secretary app, it'll tell you how to move your relationship forward. But more importantly, it'll tell her how to move the relationship forward. It'll have a bunch of tasks and duties. It'll have a, it'll have a bunch of shit. So you take the Marriott Secretary course and then you get the app. And then the app will actually do your relationship for you. Tell tell them what she eligible to get proposed to. Tell you what she got to do to be eligible to get married. Tell Show her tangibly all the contributions that you bring to the relationship that they take for granted. Because everything you do that's good is an entitlement. Everything you do that's great is wrong. You got to understand that. If you're phenomenal or something... Outside of the menstrual arts, that's wrong. They, they'll condemn you for it, right? Because they want to be second worst, right? And then everything that's spectacular, amazing, astounding, you'll become a pariah, right? That's how they treat you. you Got to invert that, bro. So leave that black shit for the for the poor folk, right? Because it's gonna keep you poor. Being black is why they say you go out here and become a professional athlete, make a hundred million dollars, and you need to give ninety-five million dollars back to the hood you came from, like the hood fucking look, bro. Once once you get out of the mindset of you're black and you need to protect your quote unquote black queens, which is or the quote unquote black community, which ain't nothing but dysfunctional ass bitches that fuck up everything they touch and steal kids and then blame niggas for it. You'll be all right. What's the car talking about? How will money investments help you have a good have good attitude? The true wealth is wisdom, but you can't. It's wisdom. You can't, but that. You have to endure to learn wisdom. Yeah, no. I don't even know what the fuck you said, but I know this. <laughs> Your attitude is based on you. Being broke will give you a bad attitude. Being rich doesn't give you a good attitude. Being broke will give you a bad attitude. Look. <laughs> Money is good. Money is used to exchange goods and services. You need goods and services. I don't give a fuck how much take your shirt off and run in the forest shit you talking about. You need goods and services. You need food, shelter, clothing, transportation. Those are essential and all those things take money. Now, once you have the basics, what your attitude is, is, is based on who you are. Money doesn't change who you are. There's a lot of people that got $35,000 on them PPP loans and was broken 30 days doing shit and buying shit that they never should have had access to because their spirit is poor. Then there's a lot of people that took that PPP money and flipped it and now they six figures strong as motherfucker now. Close to seven. The money don't make you. You already who you are. But you still need food, shelter, clothing, and transportation. <laughs> what you don't understand because you thinking black. You think that I'll fuck with you. That's That's... See, here's the thing. I wish I could pull you up. You know what's like? I can. I can pull you up. 
I want cause because I don't want to I don't want to misrepresent you. I don't want to misunderstand you. I want you to call me, man. I want you to call me, bro. Because maybe I'm not understanding you. Because everything that you saying sounds real individualistic. And I'm a tribal cat. So maybe we just We would maybe we just just seeing things differently. So I'm I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my number my number in the chat. I'm gonna put the show phone number in the chat. I want you to call the show. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to explain to me how how just just love is all you need. Because men shouldn't even operate on love and all that shit. So Okay, I don't give a fuck about them communities, bro. I don't, I keep saying that. I don't give a fuck about them communities, bro. Community is a compound word to commune, which is to come together in unity, right? Which also kind of means to come together, but united under one philosophy. To commune in unity is a tribal thing. It's not a residential thing. You don't choose your, your neighbor, so their attitude is, is a misnomer. It doesn't matter. Your, your village is based on the accumulation of men doing things in order to protect himself and his neighbor to the left and right. He ain't even got to care about the people on the next block. He got to care about his neighbor to the left and right because they're his, his, his immediate perimeter. And he has to protect what's his in his house. So it behooves him to be nice to his neighbors to the left and the right and have a good communication with his neighbors to the left and the right. Now, if his neighbors to the right has a, commu- a, a good communication with his neighbors to the right because he has to protect his perimeter as well, and eventually the kids go to school together and they grow up in this commune and they have a united experience based on education, background, uh, activities then that's how you find out who lives two blocks over because the kids do that the guys don't really do that like that then all of a sudden everybody knows everybody and it's a it's a us against them right colloquially not warlike but just us against them our neighborhood our school our team our whatever is better than yours and i feel tribal about mine so I will root for mine at all times and I'll do whatever it takes for mine to be better because we're tribal. Men are tribal. Right? Until you have men that build it, what you're talking about are, are places in which people reside based on redlining. I don't care about redlining people. We're talking about the blacks. I don't care about the blacks. The blacks don't care about the blacks. The blacks are mad when people of their their same hue say, I'm not black. I'm Nigerian. That's very true, but they're not black. They're Nigerian. They have a nationality, an entire culture, a different religion, a different background, a different history, a different upbringing. They don't, it's not trauma. And the trauma that niggas have ain't real trauma. just a bunch of goofy shit bitches say so they don't have to be accountable (sighs) anyway I'm gonna leave on that note I want to appreciate everybody that paid their daycare fees I want to appreciate everybody that rolled through with me um help me get to a thousand subs yo I'm I think I'm gonna take this survey and I'm gonna put it on a on a community tab and and, and see what's going on. See how it, people don't know their toddlers though. I gotta break break down the whole toddler shit. Anyway, love each other as you love yourself. Send me the clips, man. Send me clips. Feed the and wait a minute. Hold on, I gotta say I got I gotta wait a I gotta say that's a clip. Hold on.
right, guys. So, for those who sent me clips all last week, guess what? Y'all send them everywhere. I need you guys to send me the clips to Dirty Folks Podcast on either Facebook or YouTube. I mean, Facebook or, or, or Instagram. Because I'm getting them, y'all like send them to me in different email addresses, different inboxes, and they're they're spread out. So I need to be able to just run through them, guys. So please, just send them either to Dirty Folks on Instagram or Dirty Folks Podcast on Facebook so I could just run through them and make sure that y'all get, where they at? I've been doing stuff. All of these have to get filled out. I got a different color for everybody to send me shit. All these have to get filled out. So I have to, so when I have to go through all these emails and then when I have to do that, it takes me longer for me to do the raffle because I'm a week behind. I want y'all to be able to win y'all stuff. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. So I ain't even play, man. Let me find out. I don't know. Man, that's crazy. I wish I won the Mega Millions. Anyway. Take your Tylerology, man. Y'all been doing great. Take your Tylerology. Hold on. That's a different topic. Take your Tylerology. Y'all been doing great. And today is the 30th, bro. You know the price is triple on the first, man. The price is triple on the first. Now, there will be discount codes given out to select other YouTube uh, channels who we sponsor. But then, yeah. So, even if y'all don't do it, I would suggest, man, if y'all can get the if y'all can get the, the course today or tomorrow. How many days is in this month? Do we get 30 days or 31? July got 31 days. So yeah, man. So y'all y'all got today and tomorrow, man, to get to get the course at the regular at the price it is now. Um right now the course one is forty dollars, course two is fifty dollars. And course three is a hundred dollar for the prepay. Uh, course one is about to go to one twenty. Course two is about to go to one fifty. And course three about to go to a thousand. So y'all really need to to prepay for course three, um, uh, because that to to train y'all how to have multiple women. Man, y'all got me fucked up, man. I need that whole ticket. Anyway, well, but by the time we do course three, it'll be payment plans, all type of shit, and we uh. About to get certified with the state, so you'll actually be a certified Tylerologist. So, so when you have that pick me pipeline, they know they fucking with a thorough certified dude. Cause girls love titles. Anyway, love each other as you love yourself. Beat the pack. These bitches are fight promoters. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Welcome to the daycare. Train your toddler. Please train your toddler. Weapons, timeouts, take her allowance. Cause on slush, she will destroy your life if you allow it. Fucking, I'm tired of rapping. Yo, low, bring in the quiet. Welcome to the daycare. Daddy told you you can't have a boyfriend in his house, so you're moving out. Yes.
And for the positive comments, thank y'all for, you feel me, showing me some love and my baby some love. Um, it means a lot to me. But I want y'all to know, y'all don't have to feel sorry for me. Like, I promise y'all I'm okay. 